Well, President Trump uh, just unveiled what's now being called the toughest immigration crackdown in American history. And the new list of demands could derail the Dreamers deal. Here to weigh in is former Congresswoman Nan Hayworth. Nan is a member of the Independent mm -hmm. Women's Forum Board of Directors and is also a member of the Donald J. Trump for President Advisory Board. Nan, good morning. Good morning, Cheryl. Well, you know, we say deal here, but let's go back to his meeting with Chuck and Nancy, as he tweeted. Um, does the president, did he really have a true deal uh, on Dreamers? Dreamers, or was this just the Democrats trying to push forward their agenda? I think it was likelier the, the latter, Cheryl. I mean, clearly the president is a man who understands how to negotiate. I think he really truly wants to get all the parties together on this. And he wants to pass legislation. And the slate of uh, initiatives that the White House is proposing are common sense initiatives to help protect our security, make sure that we're dealing fairly uh, with people who uh, enter the country illegally and with our citizens who are here who need a government that will treat these issues responsibly. Nan, let's show our viewers then, since you brought it up, let's show them what is in this new proposal if they're just waking up this morning and, and unaware of what we're talking about. So first, you know, they want to, uh, the, the, there needs to be included in any deal, they say, their, their immigration plans going forward funding for the border wall. They want to make sanctuary cities like Chicago, Los Angeles, San Francisco illegal, reduce the number of incoming refugees, crack down on unaccompanied minors coming into the country without documents, and then more agents at the nation's borders. Don't you think that some of these are going to be non-starters for Democrats, even some Republicans? Uh, Cheryl, I think they probably will be for some Democrats who have already said. Uh, Senator Schumer has uh, made very clear uh, that he disapproves of uh, increased border security, at least in the form of a physical wall. Uh, and I don't know why he would be opposed to that, because, again, that is a common sense way to make sure that our southern border, which is highly vulnerable, actually is protected. And we and our border agents and our ICE uh, agents tell us that, Cheryl, that we need uh, better physical security to augment the other measures, including better prosecution, uh, more judges, more capabilities, so that we can actually protect uh, Americans and make sure that people who are inclined to, who are tempted to enter this country illegally, Legally, uh, don't do it. That's actually more compassionate to them, believe it or not. You know, it's interesting because the president is using the power of money in some of these proposals, whether it's uh, mandating that companies use E-Verify across yeah. uh, the nation, meaning they have to verify the status of those people that they do hire. But also this, this you know, and it's kind of a bully pulpit measure, but it, it may just work, you know, pulling federal funding from cities that declare themselves sanctuary cities. Right. That might actually get some traction, no? Cheryl, absolutely. That is a matter of these cities uh, actually going against federal law, refusing to help our legitimate legal authorities uh, to enforce the law, and they put every other American at risk because there is no uh, way to control the traffic out of sanctuary cities. It is entirely sensible and entirely fair for the federal government government to withhold federal funding from cities that refuse to cooperate with our laws. What about these, and we still say kids, I mean, many of them are, are no longer children. They're in their 20s mm -hmm. and some in their early 30s. But at this point, there's about 690,000 mm -hmm. uh, that are still under the Dreamers program. And mm -hmm. even the president himself, at times, whether on the campaign trail or as president, has expressed kind of a discomfort level mm -hmm. with basically th as you, throwing these young people out of the country. Do right. you think that he's dead set? on this particular part of this proposal? I, I, think, I think there's broad support for, uh, again, a compassionate approach to young people who, through no fault of their own, uh, were brought to this country as minors and consider themselves to be American. And I uh, applaud the president uh, for taking actions that are meant to enforce and reinforce uh, our, our laws and our national security, our border security, and as sensible, common sense immigration laws, and also allow for a compassionate approach to these young people who do consider themselves to be at home in this country. And, and real quick, just about 20 seconds here, Nan, with you, but one of the things that they want to do is green cards based on merit. Now, the yeah. business community is going to applaud this. What's the political side, though? Yeah. 
Well, I think a, a lot of Democrats in particular are going to find this objectionable. But again, this is common sense, Cheryl. Uh, you know, we, we have a, a lot of uh, opportunities in this country. Ideally, what we seek to do is grow our economy so much that we can welcome more and more immigrants in as workers to participate in the economy with American citizens who also deserve to have first dibs on the jobs that are here. Nan Hayworth, it's always great to have you on the show. Thanks for getting up with us this morning. Always a pleasure.